Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Tonight we are making another batch of healthy peanut butter chunk oatmeal bars. We're going to see how these turn out compared to the ones I just made. And those were just called oatmeal breakfast bars. But they looked pretty good too. So let's see what we got. For this recipe you're going to need half cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of chunky or creamy peanut butter. I'm using Jif Creamy. One cup sounds fabulous. Uh, two teaspoons pure vanilla extract. One cup of whole wheat flour once again. So I did my due diligence and picked up some whole wheat flour tonight instead of substituting it with all purpose. One cup of old fashioned rolled oats. There again, do not use quick oats. Use the old fashioned. One teaspoon baking soda. One quarter teaspoon salt. One half cup milk. It says here you can use almond milk or whichever you prefer. Once again, I'm going to be using whole milk because I normally don't stock too much almond milk. Uh, one half cup of chocolate chips and also it says one half cup of raisins. What you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line an 8 by 8 baking dish with parchment paper or spray with non-stick spray. I'm going to spray because I'm too lazy to get the parchment paper out tonight. I'm tired. Had my grandkids over the weekend, ages six, three, and two, and you know what? They're exhausting. I love them to pieces, <laughs> but they're exhausting. Especially the two girls who are three and two, they like to pick and poke at each other. They like to aggravate. Uh, so, you know, little girls can be fun when they're by themselves, but get them together, it's like, ah! <laughs> Once again, I do love them. I do love them. All right. So what you're going to do is once you have your pan greased, set it aside. You're going to need a stand mixer for this. It says, with an electric stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, mix the brown sugar and peanut butter on medium speed until light and fluffy. It says about three minutes. The brown sugar, which is half a cup packed, the peanut butter, which is a delicious whole cup, and I could just lick this <laughs> out of here, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So I'm going to turn that on for about three minutes on medium. See what happens. Next, we are to add the two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Sure. Not quite. <laughs> See if I can do that without it spilling. The oven has preheated. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix that together and then I will stir down the sides here in a minute. On medium speed, add in the flour, oats, salt, and baking soda. So medium speed, we have one cup of wheat flour, one cup of old fashioned oats, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one quarter teaspoon salt. It says the dough will be very thick and clumpy, but it will come together. Okay, slowly it just looks like dry mixture, so it doesn't look like much of anything yet. So we're going to slowly add in the milk until it starts to form a dough. Okay, the milk did the trick. What was dry turned into, it almost reminds you of a cookie dough batter. <laughs> I think I'm going to love this. What we're going to do next is fold in the chocolate chips and your uh, cranberries, raisins, whatever you want to put in there. And probably what I'll end up doing is just mixing this together with my hands. And then what we're going to do is put this in a pan, press it down, and we are going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 17 to 20 minutes. I think what we're going to have here is like one big cookie. How this is healthy is beyond me, but we'll see. Because I'm thinking healthy really shouldn't have stuff in it that I like, but apparently it does. 
gonna mix this together just a little bit more to get the chips and the raisins. Okay. Press this in there. So it's smushed all over the place. There it goes. Just like a big old batch of cookies. So off to the oven it goes, 350, 17 to 20 minutes. Mine took about 20 minutes. I cut off just a little baby piece because these are higher in calories. If you cut it into 16 pieces, you're gonna have about 219 per piece. Also, what you can do is melt a tablespoon of peanut butter with three tablespoons of chocolate chips to make a drizzle and just drizzle over each of the bars. <laughs> Very good. These I can really recommend. I would give these a 9.5 out of 10. So you have to decide which ones do you like. They say they're healthy. I'm not so sure about that because they have twice the calories as the regular oatmeal breakfast bars and they taste like they do because they're like 10 times better. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights and I hope you have a great, great day and a fabulous week. See you soon.